got anger, hate, and jealousy inside my DNA. I got envy and bad energy inside my DNA. I got pints of Michael Jackson's blood inside my DNA. I don't do massive drugs, don't gas me up. Look, I got, I got, I got, I got. Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy, Son TJ. How's it going, everybody? Today, I'm here to review Drama All Super episode 108. And I might be talking about a few spoilers because I can't be making videos back to back on all these spoilers like geek them. And I'm going to talk about the episode 109 and 110 because that's coming out two weeks from uh, two weeks from now because those two episodes are going to come out together. So yeah, this episode has a lot of fights in it. First, it starts off with Goku versus the the fat woman. <laughs> I'm so mean. Rebrine, I think that's her name. Yeah, and Rebrine is actually giving him a lot of trouble, and I think she's fighting full power based Goku, so Universal? I don't know, but they've been fighting for like two episodes now. They're gonna fight again in the third episode. That chick is doing way better than I thought she would have. I thought she would have lost to Super Saiyan Vegeta, but Vegeta like punked out of it. So yeah, that fight's happening. Then um, Gohan fights a robot, and the robot puts in a little work, but it just shown that Gohan is running out of stamina throughout all these fights. And he fights the instant transmission yard rat from Universe 2, and the dude is just blitzing him everywhere he goes, right? It's pretty crazy stuff. And Gohan, it's just pretty much confirmed that, like, the guy's not stronger than Gohan, but it's just that Gohan's just out of stamina at this point, and he's having a hard time dealing with instant transmission. So Frieza shows up. Wow, I'm, I'm, my mouth is all watery today, but so there's this whole like monologue of like, is Frieza going to portray Gohan? Is he going to take him out? And I know a lot of you guys are like about to get on my case saying that Golden Frieza stronger than Gohan. We told you like, listen, this entire episode is just saying that Gohan is out of, sh not out of shape, but he's tired from all these fights. Gohan's not at full power right now. So for all you guys who jumped the gun, cause I, I cause I was uh, taking someone, um, I was uh, picking up someone and everyone's like looking at the live stream and not seeing the actual subtitles. Everyone said Gohan's a bum. He couldn't handle a robot and he got taken out by Golden Frieza. When this, in the context, it confirmed that Gohan is just running out of stamina. That's it. So chill. So yeah, Gohan escapes the robot and he's fighting this, um, the Yard Rat. And the Yard Rat is putting in some work. I don't know where to put the dude, honestly. Like, the power scaling right now is confusing the hell out of me, especially with the spoilers coming up. So I don't know where to put him. Right now, I have the, um, the Yard Rat under... Uh, I have him under Piccolo, maybe over Kaba. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you think Jamize can beat Kaba? Let me know. So... Yeah, Jamise is about to be base Gohan because he's pretty much out of it. He's tired and he's not taking the fights too seriously. But Frieza shows up, right? And he gives him the Vegeta Frieza Saga treatment, grabs him by the tail, and he's able to counter his transmission pretty easily, which is surprising. So um, I don't know if he faced it before. I guess when he did that little clash between Goku when they when Gohan when Goku went blue and Frieza went golden and they both knocked each other out, I guess that we can have some type of idea. But he pulls, him, he hits him with the Vegeta combo, puts him in the chuck hole, and beats the hell out of him. And he knocks him out of bounds. And everyone thought he killed him, but he really did it. But I think he might die <laughs> after he got knocked out, which is cold blooded. So pretty much Frost shows up calling uh, Frieza Senpai or whatever. And he says that we were teaming up to take out the Saiyans. Which is like, okay, so this is their plan. Then Frieza fights Gohan. And he's already, and then Roshi makes the comment saying that Frieza waited for Gohan's stamina to run out so he can fulfill beat him. Because Krillin and Roshi are acting like Golden, Frieza's just going to stomp Gohan, apparently. Like, that's what they're trying to say. I'm like, did they not see Gohan fight Kaoken Blue Goku? But regardless, we're not going to talk about that. So, <laughs> so um, Frieza goes in on Gohan. Then Gohan goes ultimate. Then Frieza goes golden. And like it's the same animation from that last episode. Really great animation. I'm not mad at reusing it. And they battle, right? And like they're holding their own, man. You know, they're going in and out of nowhere. Like they go from Tai to out of nowhere. Golden Frieza just hits Goku, uh, gets, hits Gohan in the back of the neck like he's Teen Trunks and Golden Frieza's future Gohan. He just knocks him out, right? And like this entire time, I guess Fro like Frieza's trying to like tell Frost that he's like on his side because Frost has like a like a, a like, I'm trying my best not to curse here. He has, like, a death beam in his finger ready to, to, to attack them. But as soon as he beats Gohan, he takes down the death beam. And my question is, even if he, like, even if Frieza betrayed him, like, what would that beam do to Frieza? Like, Frieza and Golden would just knock that thing away. But regardless, uh... Frost asks, how did you turn golden? And Frieza says, you can do that too through training, but I don't know if you can do it right now, so I'm going to teach you the full power 
mode, which I don't understand because it feel like Frieza already mastered his final form. I guess he's like, you know, he's tricking him. So like, yo, if you use his final form, like this full power form, you'll be very powerful, but you got to make sure to use it quickly because your stamina will run out. And Frost is like, yeah, thank you, man. He said, also, one more thing that I think you should know is that don't trust anyone. And he blasts him out of the stage. So pretty much it's confirmed that Gohan and Frieza was just playing around. It really wasn't serious. But of course, Frieza's always going to act like he's stronger than Gohan and stuff like that. But it was really weird because I saw it in the live stream. I was just like, hold up. How do they, like, become equal for a second? Then abruptly, Gohan gets defeated. Like, come on, bruh. And Gohan looked already tired. Like, come on. I don't really... Like, everyone's saying that Frieza stomps Gohan. Like, yet again, you jump the gun. You jump the gun, try to give Gohan an L. Take take a break, bruh. But, yeah, Frost is pissed. It is really understandable. Because he's like, you played me like a fiddle. <laughs> like, if you see the Metal Gear Solid uh, 5 thing, you'll know what I'm talking about. So he decides to try to shoot a death beam outside the stage. And Zeno, <laughs> Zeno just erases him that quick. With a flick of his wrist, Frost is gone. Like, he ain't even dead. That man is erased. So, RIP Frost. <laughs> He played, he played a, a pretty well game, man. It's like Game of Thrones. He tried his hardest, but his evil clone betrayed him. Not surprising. So, Universe 7 is left with the idea that, like, is Frieza going to betray them later on? And I'm left with the idea, is if Gohan's stronger than Golden Frieza, or Golden Frieza stronger than Gohan? Like, because so far, they're pretty much equal. And, like, or not, I don't know, because Gohan was not at his full power. He was a little, um, little out of stamina, but whatever. A number about power scaling, because this shit's confusing. So the episode preview 109 is Goku continuously fighting Rebrane, or whatever the hell you say her name. Then we got a bunch of spoilers in the freaking preview of Goku versus Jiren, right? And we see a little signs of blue Goku versus Jiren, and he's getting thrown around and shit. And then we see Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, times 20, throwing a spirit bomb. Bruh! <laughs> I, look, a lot of people are telling me that Jiren is not the strongest mortal that's going to be stronger than gods. But, like, how? How can he not be? I don't even think Beerus will be able to knock this, this spirit bomb that easily, bro. Like, this is Goku currently 10 times stronger than he was in the Universe 6 Saga, at least. Going Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 and throwing an effing spirit bomb. And Jiren's looking at that like, and? you Are you telling me Beerus will do the exact same thing? Are you telling me that right now? Because if he can, goddamn. And then also, Vegito's stronger than Beerus. Like, that is so much power, bruh. But yeah, that's the end of the preview. Then, like, we're not going to get an episode next week, but we're going to get, like, the special, right? And the episode 110 is definitely going to be the Limit Breaker form being revealed. And um, now, for the overall episode 108, I'll give it... I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I think it was pretty good. The only drawbacks was the whole... Actually, no, I'll give it an 8 out of 10, really. Like, I thought it was really great. The only drawbacks is just feeling like Goku's kind of phoning it in with Rane. I feel like that fight is being dragged on too long. And I also feel like the Yardrat, he did his thing, but I kind of feel like he didn't really get too much to shine. Like, I don't know. All he did was just show off against, like, a tired Gohan. And let again, tell me who, who you think will win, the Kaba or Yardrat. I would really like to know that. But I am really excited for what's going to happen in two weeks, man. Goku versus Jiren, which actually we're going to get Goku versus Rebrane for like probably like the first half, then Goku versus Jiren. And, um, and here's some spoilers, by the way. So you probably should click off the video. You already know my review, et cetera, et cetera. But the, ap the episode after Goku versus Jiren is Hit versus Jiren. Then Vegeta's resolved. So is Goku going to be knocked out by Jiren? Or like, I'm just mad. But like, it also. Because a lot of people were telling me that the warrior that's stronger than all the God Destructions is from Universe 4 because the Universe 4 God Destruction overpowered Beerus in an arm wrestling match in the past. And, you know, it all correlates. And everyone's telling me that Jiren is just a red herring. But, like, how can Jiren not be stronger than the rest of the God Destructions? Like, I know Beerus has not shown his full power. And Beerus is the strongest God Destruction so far confirmed. Because, the, like, the Battle Royale God Destructions in the manga hasn't finished yet. But come on. Beerus is pretty much being told that just because of Wiss's training that he's better than all the other God Destruction. So I'm like, how is Jiren not above Beerus at this point? This man is about to tank 
a Super Saiyan Blue. I don't know if it's Ty Kaioken times 20, because I heard Kaioken times 20 fails, then he goes for the Spirit Bomb, so he might go Kaioken times 20, then use the Spirit Bomb later, and I'm also going to be mad at Kaioken times 20, it's like no difference at all, because I was really hoping for like red hair, but regardless, he's going to use, he's going to use Kaioken times 20 along with a Spirit Bomb. That's got to be Beerus level at some point, man, some point, and I don't know, Jiren, I, if he's really just a red herring, who, who in Universe 4 can even beat him? I don't I don't know, man. It's crazy. And I don't even know why we're getting Hit versus Jiren. J Hit should be stomped by Jiren. Hit can't even compete with current Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken unless he's going to improve into hacks levels. Like, bruh. I don't even... Like, how would he even uh, be able to fight Jiren unless Goku damages Jiren so much when he goes Limit Breaker? Because you know a lot of times Goku gets these forms but doesn't beat the main villain for some reason. I don't know. This is me just throwing out ideas. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Also, do you want me to make more videos about Naruto at like Avatar or stuff like that? Cause I'm checking my analytics, man. And so far my main views has been from my Naruto video I made back in the day, the Seven Hokage, how strong he is. And that fucking top 50 strongest avatar characters that won't stop blowing up. And I'm low-key thinking about me in the comment section because it's the same comments again and again. But let me know, guys, y'all want me to do a Naruto video or an avatar video because that's where my analytics are going. Or you want me to make another top strongest video that's more easier to make. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. So, yeah. Um, I really do appreciate all y'all. I really wish I could have made a, like 11,000 subscribers. Thanks to you video, but I've been so busy. And yeah, sun to job. Peace. Love you all.